Good morning. Pastor Sean here on Saturday, February 20th with your morning prayer. And just a, a little note is apparently <laughs> for the last few days, I was using the wrong responsory. Um, I know, shocking. I'm surprised nobody caught it. So uh, there's a slight slight change in the, the beginning of the, the liturgy here, but uh, <laughs> figured I would point that out. So sorry, my bad. <laughs> so let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. And here's the updated part. The Lord has redeemed his people. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Let us come into his presence with thanksgiving. Let us make a joyful noise to him with songs of praise. For the Lord is a great God, and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth, the heights of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hand formed the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord has redeemed his people. O come, let us worship him. All right, today we close out this uh, Bread of Life discourse with uh, John chapter 6, verses 60 through 71. When many of his disciples heard it, they said, This is a hard saying. Who can listen to it? But Jesus, knowing in himself that his disciples were grumbling about this, said to them, Do you take offense at this? Then what if you were to see the Son of Man ascending to where he was before? It is the Spirit who gives life. The flesh is of no avail. The words that I have spoken to you are spirit and life, but there are some of you who do not believe. For Jesus knew that from the beginning uh, who those were who did not believe and who it was who would betray him. And he said, This is why I told you that no one can come to me unless it is granted him by the Father. After this, many of his disciples turned back and no longer walked with him. So Jesus said to the twelve, Do you want to go away as well? Simon answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life, and we have believed and have come to know that you are the Holy One of God. Jesus answered them, Did I not choose you, the twelve? And yet one of you is a devil. He spoke of Judas, the son of Simon Iscariot, for he, one of the twelve, was going to betray him. In many and various ways, God spoke to his people of old by the prophets, but now in these last days he has spoken to us by his son. Okay, so um, hard stuff to listen to, they say. And um, this is an interesting way to cap it and kind of a a good exercise in in how we understand faith and belief. Because um, a lot of of times, I think, we we tend to, you know, belief is just, belief and faith are, are saying, well, okay, yes, I... I either understand this or I accept it. Okay. And, um, and it, it's more than that. And then I'll get into that because, um, you know, the, it begins with the disciples saying, this is a hard saying who can listen to it. And this is coming right off of, I mean, this is leading right in t- or from what we had yesterday, where he's talking about my flesh is true food. My blood is true drink. Um, you must eat my flesh and drink my blood. So, you know, when they're hearing this on a very surface level, and again, they didn't understand what he was talking about at this point. Um, you know, it sounds like he's saying like, yes, you know, we're talking about cannibalism here, you know, eating, eating my flesh, <laughs> drinking my blood. And so, um, you know, they, they say this is hard. Who can listen to it? We, we, we don't get it. Um, but, you know, if you if you look back at what he was saying and, and you look around the 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 difficult parts of you know eating flesh and drinking blood, you know, it, it talks about how this brings you everlasting life, um, brings you into God's presence, forgives all your sins. I mean, all this all this wonderful stuff that is promised here. Um you look at that and they say, okay, so some disciples had and took issue with that. Okay. And, and that part was hard and fine. Okay. Um, and we might look at that and say, well, why, why didn't they just give them the benefit of that? Why couldn't they just say, you know what? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll go along with that. Whatever you say, um, you know, or, or why didn't they just 
they're like, okay, well, we'll, we'll, I mean, the, the, the upside to saying, okay, sure. We believe this is that eternal life. What's, what's the downside? I mean, if, if he's, if he's wrong, well then we're, we're not losing anything, but if he's right, well, what, what, what's it's, it's, you might as well just say, yes. Okay. I believe this. And, um, but the thing is, it's, it's not just about that. And, and belief and faith is so much more than, than that because it is a gift. You know, we, we can't believe without God giving us the Holy spirit, without God creating the ability in our hearts. You know, we can't believe until God makes us believe essentially makes us able to even believe. So, um, it really does become a, a matter of, you know, when we look at the people who left Jesus here and who no longer walked with him and how they didn't hear his words, whereas the, the 12, you know, they say, Hey, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life and we've believed and come to know that you are the Holy one of God. So they receive his word and they believe, um, this is all the working of God. He is the one who does this, and it, it, it raises, that actually raises a more difficult thing for us to, to wrestle with, is why does God create belief in some and not others? This is one of the foundational problems of theology that theologians wrestle with and struggle with, is why some, not others? Why are some saved and not others? And unfortunately, there's no satisfactory answer for us. I mean, the, the, the answer and the satisfactory answer is that it's God. God chooses. God, it's all part of his plan. <laughs> and um, it's, that's not a very... <laughs> some people don't like that answer. <laughs> a lot of people don't like that answer. Um, it seems like a cop-out. Like, well, it's all part of his plan. Well, okay, fine. Well, <sighs> tell me, explain this to me. But we, you know, at the end of the day, we, we can't. We, we don't know the mind of God. We don't understand his, his ways. His ways are so far high above ours. Um, so from our perspective, you know, it's just something that we can't know. It's something that we can't understand. Um, it is something that we simply have to say amen to. And so, and those who believe can rejoice because God is, his kingdom has come. He is, he is doing and accomplishing his will. And um, though we don't un always understand it, though we don't always um, see how it, it works and all that, we still know that it is good even when we see that some stop walking with him and some fall away and we don't understand why we don't understand how other than this is God's work. So it's a very, again, we, and so we double back after hearing all that, you know, we can go, this is a hard saying who can listen to it. Um, but the thing is, none of this is, is asking you to, you know, faith is not a matter of asking you to understand like how the nuts and bolts of, of how all this works and to have everything set. It is faith is not asking you to say, let's set aside common sense here and, and rationality and just, you know, accept something totally out there. It's not about that. Um, in fact, it, faith is um, God opening your eyes and your ears to see and hear him through his word. Um to realize that we are not the one, the, we're not the arbiters of, of reality. <laughs> we are not the ones who um, can make sense of everything because we're a part of creation. We, we are these minuscule little creatures versus an infinite God who is huge and mighty and powerful. Um, so for us to say, well, I don't understand this is, is kind of adorable. <laughs> Cause it's like, no kidding. Really? You know why? You're not God. And neither am I. Um, Again, this is not a satisfying thing to a lot of people, and certainly to if an unbeliever is, is would would hear this, he'd be like, "Well, this is crazy. How can you? How can you? Uh, how?" And the only answer I can give is through faith. And it's not faith is not something that I ascribe to, like saying, "Like, well, I, I read all about it and I decided this is for me. I was baptized into this. God placed His Holy Spirit in my heart, and I know this is true because this is His Word." <laughs> um, because he has the words of eternal life. Who who else can we go to? Um, so this the, it's it's a it's an amazing way to kind of close out this this text in a very profound um, way that we ponder this stuff. So uh, spend some time with this text today, and just you know, um, 
think about your faith and how awesome a gift that is for you, that it is not of you, it is of God. And uh, praise be to God that you have faith, um, that uh, you are you are blessed with that wonderful, wonderful gift. So, good stuff. All right, well, let us pray. O oh Lord, our Heavenly Father, Almighty and everlasting God, you've safely brought us to the beginning of this day. Defend us in the same with your mighty power, and grant that this day we fall into no sin, neither run into any kind of danger, but that all of our doings being ordered by your governance may be righteous in your sight. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Taught by our Lord and trusting his promises, we are bold to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. Thank you so much uh, for joining me today, uh, for joining me all this week. For uh, starting your day off with our morning prayer, I love doing it, and I I, I enjoy that that it's uh, beneficial to you too. So um, have a wonderful, blessed day, and peace be with you.